I V M. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Football Twaddle. My name is Saru, and the Premier League season is over. And to discuss the entire Premier League season, we have a full house with us. Tanuj Baru, what's going on? It's all good. <laughs> Kanau, hello. <laughs> hello. And we have a special guest with us, all the way from Ireland. It is Nitish O Mahajan. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I had to put that O so that you know. We oh, get some, the island. The, the island. island. So Nitish, you follow Manchester United, right? That's your favorite club. Yes, that's my favorite club. And for how long have you been following them? It's been more. It's been around ten years, I think. Uh, being very honest, it started with me playing FIFA '99 and just between <laughs> having to choose between United and uh, Arsenal. <laughs> Juventus. I, I oh, it was Juventus, was it? I oh, '98 was United Arsenal. Yes. Yeah. Oh, just, and have you ever been to Old Trafford? Yes, I have been there uh, a couple of times. Once just to see uh, the ground and do a tour. If it's real or not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or is it literally the theatre dreams? dreams? Yeah, and uh, I sneaked into a match uh, between uh, United and Southampton. Uh, it was a while back. Oh, so you sneaked into a match. Obviously, you're a hardcore United supporter, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's 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 difficult to sneak in. Oh, and have you? How have you been following the season with United? So it's been uh, on and off because uh, for me now. The matches go at around 3 p.m., 4 p.m. When uh, because I'm uh, in Ireland, so I miss a few matches. But uh, I try to see all the others. All right, the season is over and 38 weeks, and we've done this podcast for almost 30 weeks. <laughs> if you remove the international break, so that's, that's a good score. That's, yeah, yeah, that's a big achievement even for us for this season. I'd say it's a better achievement than City reaching 100 <laughs> points. Yeah, I mean, everyone can reach 100 points. <laughs> but <laughs> let, let them try recording 30 points. Paris reached 100 <laughs> points. They did, right? Let's sure, say they let's did. assume they did. Yeah, but before we get to City, let's talk about the final place of the top four, which is that at least we thought Chelsea would put up a fight. In fact, Kum- Kanao in the, during the last week said yeah. Newcastle versus Spurs is something I'm looking forward to. Newcastle versus Chelsea. Newcastle versus Spurs. You wanted Spurs to lose so that Chelsea could somehow sneak oh, into yeah, top four. Last week. But Chelsea's like, nah, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it ain't happening. They drew against Huddersfield one one one, and then they lost. They lost to Newcastle, lost Newcastle, not the not Spurs. I knew Rafa was going to spoil it for someone. Yeah, what's going on with Chelsea? Who's going to take this question? I think uh, we knew it. Uh, I think it's been three four months since we've known the fact that Conte is not staying, so he has no motivation to. He was doing the best he could to get sacked so that he, you know, he could get his <laughs> big payoff and go. Yeah, but <laughs> what I don't understand is Conte ma- like Maros all these snarky comments before the games. He's like fifth is better than tenth. Oh, at least win the FA Cup and then say How that. How is right? that snarky? Fifth is better than tenth. Dude, it doesn't matter. He's going to get fired at the end of the season, right? At least have you never heard any of Russell Peters' jokes? Oh yes, two? yes, <laughs> two. <laughs> Two is better than one. Oh, yeah. so, yes. No wonder. Yes. He turned the tables around. Exactly. Man, but I did not think that. Though. What's wrong with Chelsea? Why did they play so badly in the two important games, which probably could have gotten know, them into top they four? Had, they had a good chance with you know Spurs uh, drawing the last game. And even this game, Spurs were lucky to get out of it 5 4. And if Chelsea had. You yeah, know, it could have been a draw if that own goal didn't come through. Yeah. Because uh, that. Uh, can I say it? Can I say his name? Uh, will it get censored? <laughs> say it. F*** <laughs> right. <laughs> Fuchs. Christian Fuchs. Fuchs. See, I'm from... The way... The place I come from, I mean, we pronounce it differently. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, including his goal, but Spurs had this... But the whole thing was... Chelsea just lost 3-0 yeah. to Newcastle. And Conte, after the game, went on to say that... If you play the same way... In spite of them playing United... <laughs> they, they're going to lose the FA Cup final. So that shows how bad Chelsea have been. No, but then... You know, the FA Cup final is going to be very interesting. Because Chelsea has no intention of playing... <laughs> and Mourinho anyways Wants to win it <laughs> Yeah wants to win it But again You know When Mourinho wants to win something He does not play Yeah so But you do realise that Giroud doesn't like Really buy into the whole Chelsea culture And Chelsea tactics right So he's <laughs> going to end up scoring anyway At least one goal right Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. a FA Cup yeah. so Sanchez versus Juru Rather than Chelsea versus United <laughs> but As so a United As a United fan I'm a bit scared uh, If we win Because last time we won FA Cup 
we lost a manager <laughs> <laughs> so that's good right oh, yeah, th- oh are you the mourinho in no. oh yeah we should move on to this yeah, next no, hashtag I, right? oh, oh, what do we do done with wenger in wenger out is done we can wait till the next no, season starts let's start for this. this is where it starts okay? all right let's ask the united fan then so uh we were expecting a dashing performance in bef- UCL <laughs> except for one match we played pretty well but uh, yeah the only I think thing that got dashed were my dreams <laughs> so as a united fan you think it has been an okay season yeah i think uh, coming at number 2 with the form in which tottenham and Liverpool, Liverpool were uh, I think it's a pretty good season but obviously there was much scope of improvement as well and if they don't win the FA Cup will your opinion still say the same yes i think uh, it's just building the team for next year Thank you Jose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's so good. What do, what do you can you give us your valuable insights on Rui Faria leaving Manchester United? <laughs> <laughs> good riddance. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, your manager said that he he can't be replaced. <laughs> Oh, no, that's all. No. <laughs> <laughs> so the top 4 is finally Spurs are again in the Champions League and I think this is the fourth season in a row now they're in or the third season in a row. So they're kind of made, making it a habit and no, that too without like really spending as much as all these oh, other. Oh yes. No, but it, again, so I would like to, you know, not agree with it. For all the hype that is built around Pochettino and Spurs, <sighs> these Arsenal fans. <laughs> <laughs> being in top 4 is you know being made out to be such a big achievement now yeah for spurs i mean given that have you seen the amount of money spurs spent since 2014 the net spent west brom no, stoke has spent way more no, than spurs but that is net spent because they sold off uh, bail if you take out the bail money mm-hmm. they spent good money on players they spent 35 million on dembele 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 yeah but they, dembele. when did they sell bail not in 2014 before that right no i don't this remember 2014 i don't remember bail ever playing for spurs <laughs> Yeah, so that's the top four. Liverpool, who who finished third and fourth? I still I don't know who finished third. Does first, it, does right? it matter? Spurs Balls finished third. Liverpool, Liverpool again. And Liverpool finished fourth. Oh, that was the top four. And Chelsea again for the second season in last three, they are out of top four. And if Conte is gone, that club suddenly looks like an Arsenal now. <laughs> Arsenal fans do you want to say something I don't even get the reference yeah, yeah. out of top 4 I think it's time to like shake things up <laughs> sorry <laughs> wait what am i speaking of shaking things up <laughs> Who's Bale, going to be the next? Like, who do Chelsea bring in next? <coughs> I, I don't know, but I, all I know is that Jose is coming back in six years. So <laughs> for another uh, for another payout, uh, another he gets th- th- another three again. years, he'll win one Premier League and he'll get like twenty million. For all uh, Rui Faria leaving, he probably is the richest assistant manager in <laughs> the world. <laughs> so even Conte will be wondering, right? How does like Mourinho get sacked twice at the at Chelsea <laughs> and he's still he can't, there? He can't even get it done once. Yeah, but he must feel like such a disappointment. No, so Conte. is playing this game i read a article saying that conte is basically going to just hang around in chelsea and if he hangs around in chelsea sagged. the club will basically fire him and then he'll he's planning a one year sabbatical with a 10 million payout yeah i think i, I could think manage it's, it's, in a <laughs> one year 10 million payout but do yeah. you think manchester city have been so good and other three have been like quite poor that that they seem to be like doing so well uh, sort of thing yeah i mean united had a good start but the second half has been just like they've been struggling but i'm i'm a little shocked to see tottenham and liverpool not even coming close with like they were apparently you know at the best of their forms sala had come in and they're still fourth i don't know i don't know how how that works oh, i mean if he has to prove is a typical united fan <laughs> <laughs> this was the moment oh yeah i didn't notice <laughs> yeah so let's talk about the champions the 100 pointers manchester city and how huh? they had to make it like this dramatic because even though that game actually i don't yeah, think it was it, getting aired it wasn't aired yeah it was like on tata sky the red button no not aired <laughs> In the UK, it wasn't getting aired on Sky. I think. Yeah, no, it wasn't. And they moved on to that game when all these other games got over. Just to see if they. Yes, and that's when <laughs> Jesus yeah, that's, that's comes in and that's scores that goal. Jesus was waiting for. Dude, what's with Manchester City and all these dramatic moments man. that to score hundred points there to score Such in the showboaters, man. I swear, if only their title celebrations were worth all the showboating. Yeah, even Andre would be thinking of the same thing. Yeah, he'd be like, "Oh man, I missed <laughs> my father figures." Oh, Andre finally like put a yeah, post put on his Instagram. Video, yeah. Oh, finally, yeah, we'll get to that. So, 106 goals, 32 wins in a season, and 100 points. Can they improve? 
Manchester I mean, City. Yeah, there's just still one goal which is losing them. Like eluding. Yeah, Champions eluding League. them. No, Champions League is a, <laughs> again another like, one. <laughs> another one. Like in the Premier League also. The unbeaten the one. The unbeaten one. Yeah. So you know we found out last uh, yesterday yeah. how difficult it is. Yeah, when Barcelona. So yeah, even but Barcelona has never been able to do it. Yeah, yeah. So, but Barcelona hired uh, an Arsenal agent with them, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Vermaelen. <laughs> so I yeah. think he assured. <laughs> No, but yeah, so Champions League has been a big disappointment for City. Yeah, to Liverpool, you know, right. Putting in uh, a billion dollars and then yeah. getting so knocked Mr. out in Mr. the Mr. United fan, how does Manchester United close the gap to City, given that Pep says that we can really improve and this is just the start? I think just keeping to their own game, I think Sanchez will uh, start to adjust Who? better. <laughs> you know, Sorry? Sorry? Alexis Sanchez. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and? Yeah, and I think uh, it's a good time for Lingard to start, you know. Yeah, anyways, with you know, Martial himself. gone now. <laughs> yeah, with Martial. What, what do you make of this whole Martial situation? I think he just got pushed out due to other players uh, performing much better like you know Lingard was pretty good but Marshall is such amazing talent man like, but, uh, Lingard I think he's just having a good time no I right think now. like Marshall got pushed out with Sanchez coming with in Sanchez coming even in even though he's not performed so yeah. I'm glad that happened so that at least Arsenal can like put in a bid for Marshall or something yeah, like I think he probably he'll, he'll go to Hue Juventus or Juventus. something so with all this Pe- Manchester City's glory it would seem obvious that Pep Guardiola is the manager of the season but recently there have been enough comments in fact in our whatsapp group there was this whole discussion on who actually is the manager of the season mm. so let's start one by one Baru who do you think is the manager of the season do I'll stick th- to the easy choice man I think it's Pep Guardiola for actually pulling off a 100 point season in the EPL which is supposedly one of those most competitive leagues in the world and all these La Liga fans outside I'm sure they're going like see you guys aren't that you that know, special. That special. You needed a La Liga graduate to come and show you how it's done. What if I have to make a case for Sean Dyche? No, but again, see, uh, every once in a while you get a team uh, who pulls above their weight. Much and, above their weight. And uh, so, you know, Leicester has already sent a, set a very high benchmark. So, every once in a while you will have your, your Stokes finishing 6th or 7th. So, <laughs> Sean Dyche... Not, not anymore. I don't not think Stokes is the right no, example. No, but it happened, I think, 3-4 uh, years back it happened. Uh, then uh, Southampton again was uh, up there yeah. fighting for sixth spot for a couple of seasons. So you don't think what Sean Dice did deserves like a manager of season? No, but then uh, he needs consistency. Dude, he manages Burnley. <coughs> what consistency are you looking? No, but at? then he's this is for the season. He's, right? he's finishing above uh, Everton and uh, Newcastle. So he's not. If he had managed to finish above either of the big five, big six clubs, probably yes. He would have been manager of season only yeah, then. Yeah. Do you conquer Mahajan? Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, if you ask me the best manager, uh, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'll have to agree with Baru. I think, I mean, I think Pep Guardiola really deserves it. Uh, starting as a favorite, it's very difficult to, you know, continue that form. Obviously, like Liverpool beat them in Champions League, but I think Pep Guardiola deserves Not it. Not just the form. Champions League, over <laughs> and over again. Yeah. Throughout the season, Liverpool kept beating but them. But is it because that we, they won that title, we kind of overlooked things like Benitez and Roy Hodgson, who did an amazing job at Newcastle and Crystal Palace. Like, if you see, when Hodgson took over Crystal Palace, they had no points, no goals, and his first two, three games were against United and City when they were playing really well. And he still got them out of relegation with like almost a month to go. How is it that that not a manager of the season performance? Because it's on the other end of the table, so... Yeah, but pulling a club out of such doldrums is also like... See, by that logic, the manager of the season, uh, manager of the month still got relegated this time. I mean, <laughs> yeah, Dar- and they are 20th. Yeah, Darren Moore yeah. pulled up a much bigger... Okay, almost all in the last nearly one month, right? Yeah. But Newcastle, that let's say Crystal Palace, for example, they've done well, quite quite well since yeah. I think last four no, five yeah. months. Yeah, Hudson has done a good job coming into Palace. Oh man, or are we just glory hunters? Like, yes, Pep Guardiola no, is the manager of the season. No, but that's not glory hunting, right? That's actually <laughs> it's a league. At the end of the day, it's your you've managed to maintain that consistency. A hundred points, man, in the EPL. Yeah, that's never been done before. Like. 95 was the max How bad must Mourinho be feeling That his record got broken 
So what is their uh, are they on any streak right now city which they're going to take into the next season now it no not really they what streak are they on they lost at home to united yeah, they, lost, they lost to liverpool they lost to liverpool so no streaks. they don't even have any streak they have to start all over again that is the only saving grace hmm. no but then again you know with uh, guardiola coming out and saying that they can improve so when you look at it uh, they've made a couple of signings in defense he always you know he's now this uh, rumors coming in of they going for zaha hmm. how but where will zaha yeah where will yeah, zaha how many attacking forwards do you need Oh man so I think with the company you're going retiring. past his prime yeah they need yeah he's not retiring he's just yeah like, he's just yeah he's not retiring that is yeah is leaving <laughs> but yeah, again, he actually got colo tore like onto the oh, celebration oh yeah i need it i want to talk about that did you see yaya tore's whole send off we are yeah. so caught up in arsenal sending our <laughs> sending us an off that we forgot to see yaya tore you yeah. where is he going any idea or like he's just gone he like i'm done with football No clue, man. Wow, he's probably going to get out the the official Kolo Yaya album or something, you know, <laughs> with the official mix of the song. Is Kolo Toure just busy last one month sending off managers, <laughs> players, everyone? <laughs> What else would he be doing? He's already won the Invincible like hmm. title twice. So. What? Yeah, yeah. He won with Celtic. Oh yeah. Oh my. I didn't even think Scottish Premier League was <laughs> think- going to be considered. Anyway, so we are going to take a break right now and after the break we are going to have a quiz to test how, what yes to test how well or how much do you guys remember since, since when do of we the start Premier League season since so when it's do we the do end quizzes? of the season we can do whatever <laughs> and, and you then you can't pull this on us sir. and then wait let me finish what else we are going to talk after the break Arsenal okay. Wenger it's done again it's over how does the game think probably, was, uh, probably end for of it? probably for the last time <laughs> yes Move probably on, for the man. last time so yeah please stay tuned to football total we come back after this break hello i'm sanjeev and i'm tushar and this is the road mode podcast a weekly show where we talk about motors and motoring in india cars bikes rickshaws buses friends familiars and time pass find us every week on the ivm podcast app or any other app you might use Stuck in traffic? Put on Roto Mouth. Taking a while in the loop? Roto Mouth is there for you. Dude, that sounded particularly disgusting. Thank you. But seriously, catch Roto Mouth every week. Welcome back to Football Total, and we have a quiz to test our own knowledge <laughs> of how well we've seen. And if you guys want, you can play along. <laughs> yeah, play yeah. along and yeah, submit your answer sheets to us. <laughs> yes, sure. So let's start. Marjan. The first question to you: Which team lost the least amount of points <laughs> from a winning position during this season? Do we have buzzers? No, that's a question for him. Tottenham. They are tied with who? Tottenham is right, but they are tied with some other club. Burnley. Manchester United. They've lost four points from winning positions this season. Man. Ask me something about away points in 2018. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Baru. This is for you. The team which got the fewest penalties this season. Arsenal. No. Damn it. One more chance. Fewest penalties. Manchester City. Burnley. Zero. Man. <laughs> they had no penalties during the entire season. But did they even appeal for one? <laughs> <laughs> they must have. Then it doesn't count. I mean, if you haven't even appealed for a penalty, then you don't deserve it. What are you going on about, man? <laughs> you don't play football. You won't get it, man. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Kano, th- come on. This is an easy question for you. Points won from losing positions. The maximum points won from losing positions. Which team? Liverpool. No. <laughs> Crystal Palace. No. West Brom. No. Do it. <laughs> It's Arsenal. No. Bournemouth. Twenty-one <laughs> points. But the interesting thing is, how was the season? first half of the season? We actually had Arsenal that. is second at fifteen points. Yeah, because during the first half of the season, yeah. you know, Arsenal would go one nil down. I'd be like, I'd put my money <laughs> on right. certain. Uh, okay. The next, the next question is for Baru because you follow this whole expected goals thing, right? XG. XG. Correct. So. What Manchester City scored 106 goals in the season. What was their XG for the entire season? 95, 80. Oh, <laughs> but at least I was on the right side. Yeah. The... <laughs> All right, Marjan. It's an easy question for you. Days at the top of the league by Manchester City. How many days they were at the top of the league? 
I don't think you I understand think what easy means. All all the days. No, come on. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good answer. <laughs> One more chance. <laughs> you need to say the number of days. All minus two. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 240 days they've been on top of the league how many days does the league run um 270 276 and this is not the most ever right chelsea has the highest uh, really yeah they were on top yeah, from day one from day one in the second okay huddersfield has been on top of the league for how many days two one oh <laughs> so close <laughs> so close okay which team had the lowest amount of minutes played by an english player or by C- english players combined city No. Oh, City had uh, City had John Stones, right? And Delph. and Delph. Okay, this is Bolo, Marjan Bolo. Southampton? No, Chelsea. Uh, obviously. And the second But we talk about Chelsea Chelsea, right? Not Bitters. No, no, Chelsea Chelsea. Oh, Bitters so. probably has the highest amount of minutes played by <laughs> an English player. <laughs> second is Arsenal. Second is Arsenal. Ah, because mm. Wilshere was injured. All right. Since you guys have got all this spectacularly wrong, let me ask easy ones then. Who scored the highest amount of goals in the Premier League this year, and how many? Come on, dude. Mo Salah, thirty-two. Okay, Baru. Who has the highest amount of assists in the Premier Chedi League? Chedi B. How many? Sixteen. You already searched for it. <laughs> yeah, <didn't you? laughs> of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, let me ask. Let me end this quiz with a really tough one. Who has the best passing accuracy in the Premier League season Kumar which player which player has the most the best passing accuracy Otamendi no uh, John Stones I was close I, what do you mean <laughs> I picked the city You're defender inside. okay yeah. now Saru to wrap up the quiz <laughs> we have got questions for you now yeah, all right go shoot <laughs> who won Premier League 2 Arsenal <laughs> <laughs> who lost who? The under 18 FA Cup finals Uh, Chelsea, women's women's. <laughs> even, even the men. Ha, even women lost. Oh, it's a loss. Who lost? Chelsea or City? I it was know. Arsenal. It was Arsenal. Yeah. I thought they lost the women's. Okay, who scored the most also. goals? Second most highest goals. Ha. Huh. In Premier League two. Arsenal. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Eddie Nikita from Chelsea. Oh Remember? yeah. And yeah. okay, that was the quiz. What does that say about us? How 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 well do we watch games? <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. we watch games for the feeling, not for the start. Oh, really? Is that what you do as well, Marjan? Yeah, yeah I <laughs> catch some games. How many games do you watch? Like, do you watch regularly every week, or what is it? Or are you really tired in? <laughs> so I don't have uh, a TV there, so I usually stream or watch at a just pub. Just go to the stadium. Or just, yeah, yeah, or just, just, just go walk to the stadium. To the stadium yeah. Walk to the stadium. <laughs> <Wow>. Swim, swim <laughs> from from any Dublin stadium. to Manchester. Any, no, no, any stadium doesn't have to be <laughs> all traffic. Which club right? do you support in Ireland? Ah, uh, so there's a. Club called Bohemian FC. Oh, not Shamrock. <laughs> It's Shamrock their, their arch rival actually. <laughs> oh, all right. So that was the quiz. What about what about Leopards FC? Joe, L- please come on. <laughs> Let no, me see. Nobody knows. Here. Nobody knows what position they are. <laughs> they are at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's talk about Huddersfield versus Arsenal. It's yeah, over. The final send off. The final send off. And I'm sure if you look at the XG score, Arsenal feel has like totally knocked Arsenal out of the park, man. In the first half itself, they, they were playing quite well. They, but they, they could have been three goals up, man. In yeah. the first half itself, we were watching the game, and in the 85th minute, when Arsenal were leading one 0 we were still like, we we're like, are they even going to get this point or yeah, not? Yeah, they lose two one or something just to keep that record in place. Yeah. No, but then uh, you know this was. So Arsenal players had planned an elaborate surprise for Wenger. <laughs> no, don't crack the Twitter joke. <laughs> it is not a Twitter joke. It's it's facts. That we only deal in facts. So from. how does? Uh, I mean, it can't be a better send off for Arsenal Wenger, right? First no, away point of 2018. No, but I think the Burnley game was a better send off. Oh yeah, five goals, man. Yeah, but the first away points of 2018. He's think... done, guys. It's See, over. No, no. You need to look at Arsenal's record throughout the season. Yeah. To understand. That Wenger doesn't really value away points, <laughs> and you're giving him the same. There's yeah, a reason he doesn't want it, and you're like, "I'm my bad, sorry." I'm Seriously, man. Exactly. So can it's you be po- a little more sensitive? I'm sorry. It's over. Finally, it's done. Yeah, it's no. no. What's the feeling now? Yeah, like? I mean, I think uh, Arsenal fan TV have already started preparing their art it out templates and all. <laughs> 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 They've got the in place at least. Yeah. No, but you know, last game there was a banner already 
ஒரு <laughs> 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 because enrique and allegri both will want a 200 million worth chest to invest in new players That's which true. is not going to happen at arsenal and what makes you think arteta won't want the money to sign players because he can't demand that right now yeah it's, plus he has been his, yeah. involved with the whole arsenal philosophy for quite like 7 no, how long plus plus he? you know 6 years it will be his first job as a manager so you can't just come in and demand hmm. and he has all those secrets man the 100 point secret Yeah. yeah. Did you guys also think the same when Moyes took over from Alex Ferguson? <laughs> <laughs> He'll have this Everton secret. We'll beat them. We'll beat them easily. No, no but he, <laughs> but he the, did. He, he took them to sixth place. place. <laughs> And he but took the Everton secret also. <laughs> At least he was in the driving seat of that club, right? Like he had actual club management experience. Uh, yeah. Like well, what is, where has that got him? Poor guy. Even his Western career, team. <laughs> even his career has been ruined because of the experience. He still has a career. But where, you where is he right now? West Ham. Oh yeah. But he may leave West Ham. But yeah. So yeah. So what advice or what caution would you? give to this arsenal <laughs> i think dreamers yeah because chelsea fans have never seen a long term uh, manager yeah, yeah, yeah okay. 3 years <laughs> yeah we just would jo was the highest you years. legend you legend exactly yeah i think like arsenal should start by reducing the price of their season tickets and all i think what that what is even know how expensive no, 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 or how cheap they are oh i i know it's the most expensive but what is season ticket i think that'll not per that, game wait wait are you saying that any manager that gets they'll be okay with if you just reduce the season ticket prices ab oh, ab sahi hai yeah when you go sasta mein match mil raha hai well we can sit <laughs> here we can sit here and say that but i think the majority of the fans the true fans they are like Oh, the they, two fans. They, they pay that much, and then they see. Arre, all that is that's a completely different thing. But what sort of manager should they be looking for? I don't know. I think they should bring someone from outside, some like Spanish or French or someone. I think they'll Spanish or French. Well, letter Spanish, and he knows French. Here is French. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So both two is better than one. Yeah. Do you think it's as important as everyone makes out to be to have actual club experience? Yes, I think, I think yes. if you want to start experience. at a club like Arsenal, you can't start with zero experience. I think it's very difficult to keep the fans happy, make the team perform. Come on, Baru, you can take. But Arsenal fan TV has given the next manager three years, so I think he has nothing to worry about. Yeah, right? but you can you can like stick up for Arteta. It may not be that bad an appointment. No, it right? won't because see, I didn't say it's a bad appointment. Uh, even his, I think he has the secrets. The negativity around the studio his, right now is also his, his last. <laughs> his last years at Arsenal, he had already decided that he was going to give into coaching. Yeah. So he was uh, working with a winger on the coaching part, and then the next couple of years he worked with Pep. That's not a bad training to have. And yes. he was one of those first people that Pep asked for, like when he came in, he wanted his own, you know, backroom staff and all, because he has English football experience. Yeah. So yeah. But again, it it'll just yeah, apparently be, even Pochettino you know. wanted him. So like two of the best managers in in so, England were. Yeah, after he can't Arteta. be that bad uh, an that appointment. Bad. Yeah. He can't be like a Gary Neville or something, right? Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh and it, since it's the final week and the week of send-offs, Michael Carrick. What a career he's had! Yes, I think he's played a very important role through the years. Obviously, it, a bit sidelined, and whenever he comes in, uh, he's like there to save the team. But yeah, so do you same. think he's one of the most underrated players United have had in a long time? Yeah, you could say that. I mean, I think some people consider him as the best player, but no. again, nobody. There's always Fellaini, right? So he can't <laughs> take that spot. <laughs> Yeah, I heard rumors of Fellaini leaving as well. Dude. So both the best players have been Fellaini's been spreading that rumors for <laughs> a year now himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so Carrick's gone and in, Jose is in his post-match conference he basically It's Jose, man. Jose, Jose. It's Spanish, right? No, he's Portuguese. <laughs> so he's in the post-match conference he said that assistant manager is not going to hire anyone and it's almost Carrick's role to like take. So I don't know I I hope somehow gigs ends up there but I guess Carrick would be fine as well. Yeah but I think we should ask Liverpool fans how it's like when a legend. But why would why would you hope gigs ends up there? I mean that he's not even he's taken a national team job. He's mm-hmm. not willing to even do a club job for some time if just because it's in lower league. So why would you why would fans expect gigs to like take over there just because he's a legendary pl- player? Uh, yeah I mean 
I think he he took over the reins of the clubs club when uh, you know uh, the manager got sacked. So I think he it'll give uh, fans a great boost. And they weren't doing that bad, right? When Giggs was in charge. Yeah. Like three games, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Last three games of the season, yeah, sure, they weren't doing that bad. Do you yeah. see Gerard as a United manager? <laughs> In a different universe, yes. <laughs> oh, oh uh, man, yes. the possibilities. There is a yes. <laughs> oh, that was the season. Wait till Thanos gets him. <laughs> <laughs> that was the English Premier League season. We'll be back next week to talk about the FA Cup final. The Champions League final And the preview the Champions League final And just like review the entire season oh, So listeners You could follow us on Twitter At the rate footy twaddle And follow us on Instagram and Facebook Football twaddle is the name And please rate us on iTunes On that note Bye Mahajan Bye 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 Baru See you guys And bye Kanal Bye And this is Saru Signing off The latest episode of Football Twaddle He bends down to test the warm water for his bath. He comes here to quench his thirst for a hot shower and some podcasts. You can witness how he enjoys having other people talk about cool stuff in his bathroom. Indeed, it helps him with his loneliness. You can find more of his species on ivmpodcast.com, your one-stop destination where you can check out the coolest Indian podcasts. Happy listening.